Hello, welcome to Jiggy Math. This is Miss Darlene, your math teacher for today. For questions or feedback, you may contact me at darlenetodayo at gmail.com. Today's lesson is all about whole numbers, focusing on numbers to 10 million. In this lesson, we hope to achieve the following objectives. First, recognize that 10, 10 thousands is equal to 100,000. Recognize that 10 hundred thousands is equal to 1,000 thousands or simply 1 million. Third, translate numerals to words and words to numerals. Fourth, express numerals to their expanded form. And lastly, state the value of each digit and numbers up to 10 million. Let's try to recall these three important terms. Digit. Can you remember what a digit is? A digit is a symbol to make a numeral. We have 10 digits in all. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So in this number, 567, can you tell how many digits are there in this number? There are three digits, the digits 5, six, and seven. Numeral. This is a symbol or name that stands for a number. 567 is an example of a numeral. Another example is 3,702. Place value. This term can be defined as the value represented by a digit in a number on the basis of its position in the number. It can be best understood by looking at this place value chart. Notice that our place value chart is divided into three periods, ones, thousands, and millions. For every period, there are three place values, starting off with the smallest place value is ones tens, hundreds, followed by thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. This time, I'm going to place some number discs in our place value chart. One ten thousand, two ten thousands, three ten thousands, four ten thousands, Five ten thousands, six ten thousands, seven ten thousands, eight ten thousands, nine ten thousands, and ten ten thousands. Do you know what is it equal to? Ten ten thousands is equal to one hundred thousands, and it can be written like this. This time, Let's try to skip count by 100,000. 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, 600,000, 700,000, 800,000, 900,000. Do you know the number after 900,000? If we have 10 hundred it's actually equal to 1,000 thousands. Therefore, the number after 900,000 is 1 million. Let's try to figure out what number is represented in this place value chart. Here we have six ones, two tens, nine hundreds, three thousands, four ten thousands, and five hundred thousand. 
the number may be written in standard form like this. And it is read as 543,926. Now let's try answering more exercises. Here in our place value chart, we have 10, 10 thousands. So let's try to find out what is it equal to by counting 10,000, 10, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000, 90,000. So if we have 10, 10,000, we have 100,000. So 10,000 more than 90,000 is equal to 100,000. This is your turn now to count on your own by 10,000. What number comes after 90,000? 100,000. Try completing this number pattern. 60,000, 70,000, 80,000. So if we notice, the difference is 10,000. The difference between the first number and the second number is 10,000. So counting forward, we have 70,000, 80,000, 90,000, and 100,000. I have here with me a similar number pattern, but notice that the numbers are going down this time. The difference between the first and the second number is 10,000 still. So going down, we have 80,000, 70,000, 60,000, 50,000, and 40,000. Let's try to place a number in this place value chart. So if we have 10 hundred thousands, it's actually equal to 1 million. If we count by hundred thousands, we have one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand. What comes after nine hundred thousand? It's one million. Complete this number pattern. 1 million, 900,000, 800,000. Going backwards by 100,000, the next number would be 700,000 and 600,000. Let's do the opposite. Let's count forward by 100,000, 400,000, 500,000, 600,000, 700,000, and 8. Hundred thousand. Let's try to figure out what number is being represented by these disks in our place value chart. Here we have two ones and it is equal to two. Four tenths has a value of 40. Six hundredths or simply six hundred. Five thousands has a value of five thousand. Two ten thousands has a value of twenty thousand. And of course, we have here one hundred thousand. So the number can be written in standard form like this. And it is written in words like this. It is read as one hundred and twenty-five thousand. 642. 
Remember, use the values of the digits to help you write the number in numerals and in words. Another example. Here we have four ones. One ten. Two hundreds, or the value is two hundred. Three thousand. Nine ten thousand. The value is ninety thousand. And lastly, we have seven hundred thousands, and the value would be like this. Let's write this number in standard form. It is read as seven hundred ninety three thousand two hundred and fourteen. This is for your own practice. Try writing this number in words. This number can also be written in expanded form. When we say expanded form, this is a way of writing numbers showing the place value of each digit, like this. So the expanded form for 267,031 is 200,000 plus 60,000 plus 7,000 plus 0 plus 30 plus 1. You may omit this part since this portion has no value. One more example. The number here in this place value chart is represented in this numeral. 305,789. In expanded form, we have 300,000 plus 0 plus 5,000 plus 700 plus 80 plus 9. Again, you may delete this part because 0 here doesn't have any value. Let's practice how to read and write numbers. When reading numbers, we start from left to right. So this portion is read as 146,000. This part is read as 839. So in words, it can be written as 146,839. Let's practice some more. 583,172. This is a huge number. Let's try to read this. 87,096,144. Try writing this number in words on your own. This is another set of practice exercise for your own practice. This time, let's try to get the place value and the value of the underlying digit. The place value of the digit 8 here is hundreds. The place value of the digit 4 here is hundred thousands and the place value of the digit one here is ten millions you might want to use this place value chart as your guide this time let's get the value of each underlying digit eight here has a value of eight hundred four here has a value of four hundred thousand and lastly 1 has a value of 10 million. This concludes our lesson for today. Write three things that you have learned today. For questions and feedback, please don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for listening.